Number 999. Days Gone Patch 1.08 released. Fixes progress, halting bugs, and audio issues by Stephen Tailwing at pushsquare.com. It feels as though Days Gone has had a heck of a lot of patches, doesn't it? Ben Studio has been pushing out updates for the PlayStation 4 exclusive in quick succession, attempting to put an end to what seems to be a long list of problems. Two weeks after the last update, it released patch 1.08, which you can download now. Which you can download now! <laughs> the developer has outlined the details of the patch over on the Days Gone subreddit. It seems that some players have come up against an issue on the mission Afraid of a Little Competition, which has been preventing progress. This update will fix that particular nasty bug. Ben instructs that those affected might need to move as far back to where the bounty collector merchant uh, resides and return to the mission objective to trigger the cinematic. Other fixes in a similar vein have been made to missions. I've had better days in searching for Lisa. Elsewhere, the issue whereby audio would drop out during cutscenes has been fixed, as well as various other bugs and crashes. Ben Studio also states it will be releasing less frequent updates for the game, but that but they will offer more fixes and updates with each one. It seems the team is determined to ensure players are getting the best experience possible, which is awesome. I mean, uh, I think that's freaking awesome. Again, uh, everything's freaking awesome. You know, that's big. I mean, we're talking about video games, so. <laughs> uh, but I haven't, I really want to dive into Dave's Gone. I said in a, a recent article I wrote, I mean, even with Mortal Kombat, and everybody is like, Mortal Kombat is Mortal Kombat, and it will sell because it's Mortal Kombat. Uh, but it's so grindy, and it seems that uh, days gone, people will prefer an average, you know, an average uh, shooter in an average open world game uh, that's not like God of War or any other, or like Spider Man. But it's just an average game, and it's just fun. And it's just fun to go through, and just a uh, just a decent story. And Ben Studio also made a uh, Cypho fil uh, filter. Hopefully, I said that right uh, for the PSP, and also uh, uh, Uncharted: The Golden Abyss for the PS Vita, which is a game I actually really love. Uh, Uncharted: Golden Abyss. I thought it was a great addition to the Uncharted series, and it felt it felt a sod game, and it was correctly voice acted, and had everybody you would know. Uh, in some new characters as well. And I thought that was a great addition. Again, it was not the best uh, Uncharted game, uh, but it very well represents the first Uncharted game. And so, this studio is coming from, uh, the studio is coming from uh, portable games. They they used to develop for the PlayStation 1, uh, but then they did a little bit on the PlayStation 2, but it was mainly PSP. And then they're doing P. Then they did PS Vita, and now they're doing PS4. And so, they, I mean, they freaking skipped the PS3. <laughs> they just developed the PS Vita game, uh, and PSP, PSP games. Uh, and so, it's I can understand that they're learning and they're trying to push themselves as best they can. And I, it, with this game, I felt, I feel like it. And they got heavy. Uh, they got the ads that PlayStation took out for Days Gone. They were pushed. They were like, "Look at Days Gone. I want you to play Days Gone. This is the game you need to play uh, before you step into uh, when we get back into uh, fall and winter. Uh, play this game. This is our summer game, basically." Uh, and I mean, I really want to dive into it. It seems great, and I I'm really loving. I've always loved what Ben Studio does, and I hope. Uh, that these bugs don't really affect it. But again, uh, people do seem to play, people are playing, uh, people want, instead of a microtransaction or grindy game, people want a decent story. And they don't care, they want, they want a full game with their $60. <laughs> you know? They want a full game with their $60, and they got a full game. Uh, got a full game with that. And it's, 
it's it's great. I I mean I love it. That should be how it is. Uh, but of course, uh, technology goes up, prices go up. <sighs> Life happens, you know. But I'm excited to find. I'm t I'm excited to dive into Days Gone, and uh, I'd love to know what you guys think of Days Gone. Uh, uh, by messaging me at Dylan's Legos or by uh, putting uh, notes in the comments. So let me know below. <laughs>